And this video shows how to create a link list like this one. Now uh, I use this uh, list. My here are my uh, top items or top five items of my uh, of my website. And I want a list, a link list like this. There is a link, and when you hover over the link, uh, over this let's say row or table cell, then uh, the then the the link itself or the table is uh, highlighted or the, the cell uh, this is the former uh, or the default when, when you create a link, link list where there's a table and the link inside so there's a difference between this and this one uh, now we go to the code or first we go to uh, in the inspection uh, by the um, Chrome uh, system. What we need in this case is um, when you want to have a link list then you need a diff uh, control. There's a small container like a rectangle uh, with a text inside and around this uh, diff element there's a, a hyperlink. So there's a hyperlink with something inside and this stuff, uh, the hyperlink, uh, should be collected in a table. Like this is a there's a table with uh, always a table row, and the table row has uh, always on the left uh, on the left column there is a small bullet or something as a symbol like this. And now when when we work with this one with this stuff, then we need. Uh, uh, okay, now we do it in our on my website on it's ASP, ASP.NET code and I have two objects in there or elements. It's a user list and a, a user control. There's the user control and there's a big block with this uh, link, the uh, top link and a small table which is uh, that's a HTML table and there I said okay run at server with an ID and as soon as we have the ID uh, when we say this one then the stuff is uh, in the code behind uh, available so in the code behind I get uh, the table this is the table uh, table items in folder and this is the table items in folder and as soon as we take this one, insert this one in the HTML element, then we get it in the code behind. So now what we, uh, what I do in my uh, uh, example is I first create a, a table, a data table in, um, so this is written in uh, visualbasic.net. As you see, uh, it's, I create a data table and I'm loading the data table by SQL string. So this is uh, loading the SQL uh, data uh, table by by the cache. This is a cache class behind there. It's but this is not. Uh, that's SQL stuff and loading stuff. Uh, I don't won't go through that at the mo at the moment. But as soon as I have loaded the data table, then I have a data table and let's say for each row as data row in the data table dot row so this is the loop at the moment and at the loop we say the following we get we initialize the stuff we get a title element and a link and then comes the stuff how to create that stuff uh, that table first of all we have to say uh, for each row we create a new row so this is dim tr uh, table row as a new html table row and then we say inside there we want we need a table definition cell or table table cell so we say table cell uh, i create a new row then we say um, create a new table cell for the left block and then there's a the width uh, 10 and virtual align the top and then we say on the and the lift uh, left block we say make me a create a new number a label 
with a number or with a label stuff with a bullet and give it a text foreground and edit this table at the label into the table definition uh, table cell and then the table cell into the table row so this is one block and uh, so we have uh, created the left table row this this is this one when we go there to uh, the stuff we see this here is the table definition and there's the table uh, cell or the, the in, inside of that stuff and when I say a label in dim a label in visual basic net means in HTML uh, when it renders a, uh, a span element so it's a, a font block uh, now we go on um, when uh, we need the next table and the next table I want uh, the next cell this is the first cell and the second cell a uh, table cell should be like a um, like a, an anchorage like a like a not anchorage like a link and it's so the link but the link is um, on fills the the entire cell so what we do there, we say, okay, we need a new table cell and then we create a link and inside the link, we create a diff element. Diff element is called panel in, uh, in, uh, in visualbasic.net. And we say the width of the panel is 100% and inside the panel is a new label with a title and then we uh, add the label into to the panel and then we add the panel to the uh, link and then we add the ring link to the table uh, cell so we will have a log look on that uh, when we inspect it we have the label inside then we have a diff element with the width here with the width of 100 percent and then uh, we have the hyperlink and we have the table the, uh, the table cell now uh, one special aspect on this uh, handling is that when you see, you see that when I hover about this then the uh, the color the back color changes. so how is this done uh, as you see there in the hyperlink there's a class called uh, link list items in folder what we have to do for that is um, we tell the system um, at runtime the link class is something like this link list label uh, link list items in folder and in the front side uh, that's quite easy so that's the back uh, code behind side and that's the front side on the front side you have to uh, insert a small block, a style block. This one simply, bef uh, simply inside the div element before there's coming the uh, table. You say style somewhere style type text CSS and then the class itself begins with a dot, and then we have the dot link list items folder. And we have one uh, for the selected element. So uh, if the idea, if the idea here, the idea of this line is the same one as uh, the same idea as the current website, uh, as the shown item, then I say there's another uh, selected a selected uh, list item. So all we have to do, we have to say the li the uh, the hyperlink gets the link list, uh, the um, style sheet or style inline st uh, style like this one, and we ha when we declare it bef in front of the table itself, then this style goes on there. So once again, uh, yeah, we, when we start now this one, when I start my uh, my Visual Studio load it again then you will see that in my local website I get this 
beautiful list and when I hover over there I get uh, the uh, highlighted uh, table style. So I hope I could help you in uh, this ASP.NET uh, Visual Basic uh, .NET, uh, application uh, with the uh, written in web forms.